The mayor of Rio de Janeiro planning to allocate 1% of their city's treasury reserves to crypto, according to local news source Glovo. The Brazilian city also planning to give discounts on tax payments made with Bitcoin. Joining us now to discuss is Bruno Ramos de Souza, head of global expansion at Brazilian crypto asset manager Hashdex. Hello there, Bruno. Thanks for joining us. So, uh, you know, I'd love for you to talk a bit about the financial environment of Brazil to kick us off. You know, what are the concerns of the average Brazilian right now? And, you know, in the, as we discuss in this context, having Bitcoin on the city's reserves of Rio de Janeiro. Thanks for having me, Christine. Uh, yeah, it's great putting things a little bit into context. You know, Brazil has been facing some some struggles uh, economically. Uh, I think this, you know, inflation is rising. There's, you know, there's always this scenario that we're trying to get, you know, public finances right. And I think in that space is where you you have, you know, leverage to get some ideas that are a little bit more innovative across. And I think that's where it comes from. Uh, you know, the mayor of Rio is, uh, is some, someone that's forward thinking. He's, you know, had some interesting initiatives in the past and he's seeing what's happening in other places like Miami, you know, and uh, El Salvador and places like that. And, uh, and certainly having an open-minded approach, uh, looking at different ways to create revenues to the city. So, uh, it, that's, you know, in the general sense, when you look at, you know, in a macro environment in Brazil, when you look at investments, there's a whole revolution in investments happening, a sophistication of investors going into more, uh, let's say, different assets. You know, Brazilians usually invested in fixed income with large banks. Uh, you're seeing that moving, you know, initially from stocks and, and then to, to other things like crypto. And crypto investments in Brazil are huge, uh, either through, you know, exchanges or ETFs, which is what we do at Hashtags, uh, ETFs and, and private, you know, hedge funds and mutual funds. Uh, so there's a whole uh, trend of looking into more interesting, innovative, you know, different different types of investments, and that's where uh, the announcement comes from. And what has been the reception among the people of Rio and, and perhaps Brazil at large for this proposal? Uh, it's it's been very good. Uh, you know, people understand crypto. Uh, I, I think you know today's a lot easier than it was in the past. Uh, you can see you know Bitcoin returns for the past several years. And there's a high level of education in Brazil around crypto and crypto investments as a whole. Uh, so people, mm -hmm. you know, took it naturally, of course, with questions around things like, you know, how is this going to be made? You know, how's, uh, you know, how's security and things like that? What happens with volatility? But very reasonable questions, not not anything, you know, blocking it intellectually. So so uh, it was surprising. It was, it was a quite uh, receptive to to the concept. Uh, and now it's, By of contrast. course, going to... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, by contrast, so, uh, you see Moody's downgrading El Salvador uh, for yeah. their Bitcoin trades and putting Bitcoin on the balance sheet. And it's generally frowned upon uh, by the likes of other institutions like the IMF. So is that a concern? Uh, I think not at 1%. This is not something that, that changes public finance substantially in, in terms of, uh, you know, we have these studies uh, around portfolio composition. And we know that, you know, with the right exposure, you're actually improving sharp, improving, uh, the risk profile of your investments, uh, adding some crypto spice, right? So, uh, when you look at the numbers, there's no reason for that. Of course, if you're, if you're looking at something like 20, 30%, then we're in a whole different, uh, discussion. Uh, but in that level, that, that wouldn't make any sense. So, uh, actually, of course, the expectation in larger periods of time is it's, it's just a net positive for city finances. And that's, mm -hmm. of course, where, where the mayor's idea is coming from. Yeah, but Bitcoin has been in retreat of about 40% since its peak in November. I, I wonder wh where do you see uh, Bitcoin headed? You know, it's trading sideways, struggling to find some direction. How long will this last? Yeah, I think, you know, this is always, it's always hard to comment on, on uh, the short term movements. Uh, you know, our impression is that this, this will continue. You know, we're, we're trading sideways for some time. Uh, but I'm pretty confident that, uh, you know, as we've seen in other cycles, once this, this consolidation phase goes through, we're, we're going to see that, you know, other upswings and other, uh, levels, uh, a lot, you know, based on what we're seeing in terms of the, in the growth and in interest from institutional investors, essentially, uh, you know, in, in Bitcoin and crypto in general, we have this thing, the retail moved first. Uh, but we're seeing more and more in our interactions with family offices, hedge funds, and even more conservative investors 
They understand that this is a legitimate asset class and they have the space in their portfolio. Uh, so, you know, as this money keeps coming in, you know, in 2022 and other years, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's logical that, you know, there will be support for, for, you know, increased mm-hmm. private movement. Uh, that, that's, that's right. a little bit of our reading. 